welcome to VT. So here we will discuss about the constraints least square filtering. So we are already least square minimum least square filtering uh, is discussed. It is an advanced version of the least square filter where some constraint is added to the minimum least square filtering. So in the previous case as we discussed in the Weiner filter, Weiner filter already we have discussed the mathematical expression for a Weiner filter. So there the power density spectrum of the noise and image should be known. In order to find out the Weiner filtering, you should have the knowledge of the power density spectrum that is SF, power density spectrum of the image and power density spectrum of the noise we need to calculate. So, but here without having the knowledge of power density spectrum, so we can find out, uh, the, uh, we can use the filtering operation. So, where we know this expression, the degraded image in spatial domain G of x, y is the convolution between f and h plus eta, that is the noise one. In matrix form, we can write this as G, where G is equal to G of x, y, which is expressed in the form of matrix, G equals to h f plus eta, where all these quantities are the matrices with their corresponding dimensions. So, here the restoration, that means this is the expression for the image, where G is the corrupted or blurred version or by degraded, degraded image by h and noise eta. So, this function can be, this value g can be restored, that means the estimate of the function based on a constraint, that uh, constraint function, here this is called the minimum criterion function, it means uh, the restoration is constrained, that means simply in the earlier cases, simply we have used in the normal filtering cases, simply the restoration filter is some restoration filter is applied based on the knowledge of the degradation function and noise, but there are no constraints. Here we have added in the last case, that means minimum square where we have defined the error that means error function is nothing but the mean square value mean square difference between the f and f cap in this case another constraint is added the constraint function minimum criterion function is defined as c this is the one constraint is added so that means so we need to restore the image that is f cap based on these constraints these conditions have to be satisfied as in an earlier case, in Weiner filter case, E value, that means error should be minimized, that is the constraint. So, but for that estimation, we need the uh, knowledge of uh, SF and SN, that means power density spectrums of uh, undegraded image F and the noise, quantity of noise eta. But in this case, without having the knowledge of these two, a constraint, criteria, minimum criterion function C is defined as, the, which is based on the gradient which is based on the gradient del square f of x, y is the gradient, the square of the gradient is given as a, which is defined as minimum criterion function c. So, this is the function c is defined like this. Now, subjected to the constraint, here the constraint is given g minus h cap, h f cap. That means, this is obtained from the already derived g is equals to h f minus eta. From that, it is derived as g minus h f cap the mean square value should be equal to. That means, if you find out this minus, that means g minus hf minus eta should be equals to 0. So, this is the constraint, subjected to the constraint. The frequency domain solution for this optimization problem, this is nothing but, uh, so minimizing the, this uh, criterion function should be, minimum criterion function is defined, subjected to this constraint, g minus hf whole square. Obviously, this is an optimization problem. The solution for this optimization problem is given as a f cap of uv is h star by h of uv plus gamma into p of uv whole square. So, this is the solution for this particular optimization problem. So, the derivation is not required here. The solution directly remember the solution for this for the optimization problem which is nothing but a filter where this gamma is a parameter here in this parameter which is given as so, this is to be selected that this gamma is to be adjusted so as to satisfy the our initially assumed constraint and the p of x y where here p of u v is defined it is a filter where p of x y is given as a, like this that means uh, the spatial domain equivalent of this one is given and uh, the parameter gamma so is to be adjusted in order to satisfy our minimum criterion condition since it is an optimization problem iteratively, it is an iterative process to adjust the value of the gamma. So, for that iterative process, again a residual function, a residual vector r is defined which is g minus hf, so which is given that r 
where residual function iteratively the residual value is changed in order to find out the, the required value for the gamma this is the procedure used to find out the that means fine tuning of this uh, gamma value where if you observe the expression for the filtering operation in frequency domain for the constrained least square so it contains the gamma the fine tuning of the gamma will give the uh, will change the quality of our uh, uh, estimate so that fine tuning depending upon fine tuning process of that gamma that means the required value how to choose the selected value for a uh, uh, gamma to get the good estimate that is f cap is given by this procedure and the variance these two expressions are the variance of the entire image the expressions are given as variance and mean based on these values the noise that means eta square which is the basic constraint we have given we have de already derived our the constraint is eta square so this eta square value is expressed in terms of variance and variance expression is given here and mean is given here so based on that and by assuming the residual value so to the fine estimate of the original image that means the reconstructed one can be find out in iteratively by solving the optimization problem so which gives the, the expression for the filtering as like this h star by h square plus gamma p square into g of u so here the unknown parameter is a gamma so how to select the value for gamma is given by this procedure the residual and the tuning of this gamma will give the fine value for this uh, filter and one more filter is the geometric mean filter already we know how to calculate the mean value geometric mean value so here a generalized version of the weiner filter and which is given in the form of h star by h square into h by h square plus beta into so only two parameters one is the alpha and another one is beta are added and here there is a power one minus alpha these two parameters alpha and beta both are positive uh, constants based on the values of this alpha and beta so this geometric filter can be used for the different purposes because it is a modified version that means advanced version by adding two const uh, positive constants alpha and beta are added so how these the, this geometric filter performs the different operations based on alpha and beta here if alpha is equals to 1 this is this power is 0 here alpha is 0 alpha equals to 1 means this value is equals to 0 h star by h square into g of uv the simple inverse filter inverse filtering operation as already we have seen earlier section of this particular filtering process if alpha is 0 alpha 0 means this quantity is equals to 1 so this is already we have seen this is the standard the Weiner filter so with if beta is equals to 1 exactly this particular value is same as that of the Weiner filter or by selecting the different values for beta it can be it is known as the parametric Weiner filter because it is based on the f tuning parameter beta is present in this particular uh, filter expression so which is called a parametric Weiner filter suppose even if beta is, is also is equals to 1 and alpha value is 0 exactly this expression becomes the Weiner filter expression and if alpha is equals to 1 by 2 alpha value is equals to 1 by 2 if this is equals to the geometric mean exact actual geometric mean and uh, alpha is 1 by 2 and beta equals to 1 the resultant function is known as the spectrum equalization filter so in this way by selecting the different values even we can define an other variations also so based on this if alpha and different values for alpha and beta we can choose that means example in parametric Weiner filter the fine tuning of beta as we have seen in the constrained least square filter where gamma the fine tuning of gamma similarly the fine tuning of beta will give the different versions of the estimate of the filter so this geometric mean filter is a generalized version of the Weiner form so we can deduce the Weiner filter from this one by selecting alpha equals to 0 and beta value is equals to 1 and actual geometric filter spectrum equalization and inverse filters also derived from this Weiner filter so these are the different filters used in the frequency domain for restoration and reconstruction of the original image which is degraded by a degradation function and the noise so we have derived defined the different filters that means uh, uh, normal filters and uh, order statistic filters adaptive filters Weiner constrained least square and the geometric filters so these are the different filters we have discussed in this chapter for the image restoration and reconstruction so thank you